Ah, uh, here we go. We got the really depressing music going on. Well, while uh, nobody's talking, I guess I'll introduce myself. What's going on, guys? I'm Jake, the Offensive Gamer, and uh, this is Life is Strange, Episode 3. Uh, you have to forgive me. Um, my throat is a little bit, um, you know, under par. I've been uh, dealing with some allergies, so if I sound a little different than normal, uh, that's why. Chloe would be all over this. So I better get moving. Get dat ass in gear now. <laughs> Fuck does that? Ugh, whatever. Chloe's... Chloe's annoying. I don't like Chloe. Oh, I'm sorry, Lisa. I saved Kate, but I drowned my own plant. Oh, f They weren't bullshitting. That actually had an effect. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I remember making fun of the game in the last episode because it was like... When I would water the plant, it was like, this action will have consequences. Was like, what's that going to do? I killed the plant. I... Yeah, fuck it. F fine. Fine. Fine, game. It's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today. She was basically pushed up to that roof. And I will use my power to find out why. This has to end. Uh, you know what, actually? Speaking of her power, um, before we continue... Uh, I actually read an interesting theory that I'm kind of kicking myself for not understanding uh, quicker, but um, somebody theorized that the reason why this whole storm thing is happening um, is because Kate is using her power, or not Kate, sorry, uh, Jesus, what's the main character's name? I can't remember this person's name. That's embarrassing. Well, she's using her power too often, and Chloe was supposed to die, right? And she hasn't died yet. Um because of her and it seems like i don't know the you know death is coming for chloe and every single time um she interferes it, it you know hurts her more and more and it's fucking with i better go meet up space with time and all that so I, I thought that was kind of interesting and that's what's causing the storm to come are you a hungry bunny here nosh on this Will that have consequences? Could I overfeed the rabbit? Will it die? These are things I need to know. No way can I clean that shit off. Time to get Samuel da Vinci to repaint. Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. <sighs> Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... Uh, I don't know if that's the smartest idea. Oh, I'm getting dread out flashbacks here. This is too much like dread out. Is there going to be some sort of tedious monster boss fight that I have to engage in or something? Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's still alive. So much hypocrite. Yep. Shocker. wonder if I can go to the bathroom. I can! What do you know? Uh, hello there. Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. Sad. Blaming her is not going to do anything for me, let's be honest. that's All that's all going to do is piss her off. I, yeah. I can. I'm just so glad she didn't. 
Are you okay? I'm just like shocked. I've never seen anybody try to kill themselves before. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. <gasps> oh no. Where did she go? I know I can trust you since you were so nice asking about my mom in the hospital, but Victoria will, like, make my life hell if I blab, okay? No doubt. I do hope your mother gets better. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. You're, like, weird, but pretty cool, Max. Especially after watching you go up on that roof. Victoria's wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. What's Victoria saying about me? Hmm? I was nice to that bitch. Ugh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. That's a good idea. Not really, but we're gonna do it anyway. Wherever you go, there I am. That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. Okay. It's very strange. It's a very bright Since cell phone light. Since I've line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. Or we can just read magazines. Victoria is about as straight as me. But she really appreciates style. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. Color me impressed. Also, her name is Max. I just remembered that. Yep. Those boots are made for walking runways. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. That's hyperbolic. I'll title this one Portrait de la Assholes. Whoa, mm. there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Okay. Only thing is, what... Are we gonna, like, try to use this against her or something? Oh, there's gotta be something in there. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Arcadia Bay Cleaners. Cashmere sweater. Please keep the receipt for collection on blah, blah, blah. Victoria's right. Secret. She's a geek. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up a sec. I gotta go back. Who is the server there? That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a Ha! <laughs> That's a Doctor Who reference. I just realized that. I can't believe I didn't realize that at first. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. Wait a second. Is there something I missed? Because it seems like the computer is where this is leading. Uh, it looks like I got everything. Okay. Let's go to the computer. Well, well. Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. All right. Hey, sweet tea, what up? I'm just avoiding some lame-ass science homework. How can anybody do fucking homework after somebody almost jumps off a roof? I can't believe we all saw it live. It was like watching a... Yeah. It was like watching a reality show, and I've never seen the campus so quiet. Like everybody's hiding or afraid. Yes, I feel like total shit for everything I said about Kate in that stupid video. Let's get some peeps to meet up, uh, to meet up later. This girl needs serious a serious curfew cocktail. We'll drink to Kate. From Taylor to Victoria, what a trip that was today, seeing Max and Kate like that. I need a drink too, let me know the time. Alright, so they're it's out like getting a, a drink, I guess. Sociopaths. Max Crackfield? Lame. Party on, dudes. From Nathan to Victoria, what Tweemo bitch Max Cock... Not really mature. Max Cockfield got me fucking suspended. Can you believe it? My dad owns the fucking dorm where she plays with her selfies. My parents have lost their shit and are threatening me with a fucking job in my dad's office. How dumb is he to have me repping him? Max Crackfield and Blackwell need to go fucking down. And the end of the world party is fucking on. You, you in? Cheers, Prescott. 
from Victoria to Nathan. WTF? Are you kidding me? This is bullshit. No way can Blackwell suspend you. I knew that Max was trouble the first time I saw her ass kissing Mr. Je Mr. Jefferson with that retro camera. Notice that everybody she hangs around gets in trouble? And yes, the Vortex Club will be bringing the end of the world to Blackwell no matter what. I'll SMS you later so we can plot in person. Hang in there. Plot in person? This looks like a big scandal that you're planning. Ooh. A unique point this. of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Right. Well researched essay with a unique point of view. Uh, okay. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. I don't want to fuck up. <sighs> Nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, I'm getting paranoid. Is that like a nod that I'm missing something? Or there really isn't anything here? Stop messing with my head, game! Apparently it was actually really easy to, uh... Uh, miss something and Kate would end up actually dying. I saw a couple episodes where um, they weren't able to save Kate... And, uh, I, I didn't realize that. I was just being observant, I guess. I thought that I it was just kind of run-of-the-mill, just go through everything you see. extra crispy careful, so I don't get caught outside the dorm this late. Oh. Yes, I am going to find you, Rachel. For Chloe and Kate. Hey, Max? Come here. Why? Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. Why was she on the roof? You, you know why she was on the roof. Uh, let's see... Kate was serious, but it's not all about that video. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell, and I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now, but people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Alright. <laughs> I'll just go snooping on her laptop. Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. Uh, hey, Dana, I have been thinking about you all day and know how hard it was for you to see Kate almost jump from the roof today. Glad that Max swooped in like a superhero. I don't have anything deep or smart to say. I just want you to know that you're a good friend to Kate, and I wish she had more friends like you. You've been so good for me when everything else is so fucked up, and I'm here for you always. I miss you. From Dana to Trevor, thank you so much for thinking of me. I kept or I keep seeing Kate on the roof, and I feel like I should have done more to help her. Max did more than anybody to save Kate, and I don't even think they're BFF. Uh, so happy you're thinking about me. I can't wait to see you tomorrow, and you are you are just as good for me as you think I am for you, dreaming of you if tonight. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's going to wish she didn't. Uh, Dana, or from Juliet to Dana. Dana, I hope you're doing okay after today. I don't want to bother you, but I'm writing an article about Kate for the paper, and I wanted to know if you could answer just a few short questions. It seems like there are too few answers. Let's uh, talk when it's convenient for you, okay? Hope you're well. All right, so to Dana from Juliet. Hi, Juliet. Or actually, the other way around. Hi, Juliet. I know you want to find out more about Kate, but I'm still a little shaken up after today. I don't think you'll get too many answers so soon after what happened today. And maybe it's better to keep a low profile for the moment. Kate deserves some privacy for a change. My big concern here is that Kate is going to just be swept under the rug, um, which is kind of a convenient thing to do, uh, you know, considering they're saying that your choices matter. It's just, if Kate doesn't show up in the next couple of episodes, or ever again, <laughs> uh, I, I think that 
we can kind of infer why. Yes, the Vortex Club does indeed suck. This is both sad and pathetic. Dana, I suck at writing, but I thought I should write this so you might not hate my dumb ass forever. <clears throat> Excuse me. I know I act like a tough jock around everybody, but I, I never had to act around you. Oh, wait, I, I already... I think I read this in the last episode. All right. Let's keep going. Huh. I don't know why everybody's writing on their thing. It's not like she's going to see it. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. I have a feeling that we're going to encounter Victoria at some point during this whole deal. Yeah, let's just sit down. Why not? I feel so giddy, even after Kate almost jumped. Maybe it's the leftover adrenaline. But I feel kind of invincible now. That's not a good sign. Yeah, let's go ahead and stand up. Music is kind of creepy. I was expecting some of that, some more of that, like, acoustic, like, emotional music, and it was just really ominous and creepy. Hey, 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 squirrel, hey. Stop running away from me. Got your corner, bitch. And I can't do anything. All right, fine. You're free to go this time. Oh, it's unlocked. I hope Samuel isn't around. Well, first, let's go ahead and... Oh, wow. Uh, from what I recall, this is all just kind of recapping things that have already happened, so there's not really much of a point in reading over it. Not to mention it would take forever, so I'm just not... I'm not doing that. Uh, sorry. Okay, so we have two new characters, though, that we can go over. Um, I'll go ahead and let you guys read this. Uh, I imagine that... You're, if you've seen the previous episodes, you know about these people. Um, but if you want to read them, feel free. Yeah, okay, so... SMS from... Wow, I got a couple, actually. Alright. Um, let's see. How far back does this go? Alright, Yo-Yo Max. Just had to remind you again how fucking awesome you were today with Kate on the roof. I'll make you a superhero suit on the lab's 3D printer. Cool? And you totally earned dinner on me. Along with our escape to planet, oh apes, call me. Thanks, Warren. I need to rest my cape tonight. Nathan got suspended too, so it was a good day. All right, does. Nope, okay. Nothing from him. Private number. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything, or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Hey, <laughs> hey, whore. Feminazis will be exterminated. Watch out. Why is she a feminazi? What? That doesn't even make sense. Like, she's. All right, whatever. I mean, that's I know who that that's obviously Nathan, but it just makes no sense. All right. Uh, hey, honey, I hope you didn't forget to water the plant we gave you, but don't drown it either. Oh, thanks for the warning. Uh, Max, please call us as soon as you can. We are so proud of you for saving this girl, and we want you to know or we want to know how you are. So please, please get in touch. We love you. Sorry, Mom. I'll call you back in a few minutes. Swear. Thanks for letting me gush over our Blackwell hero. I miss your voice. Uh, we're very proud, so m milk this moment. Let us know if you want to come up for a quick getaway, okay? We love you, Max. All right now from Chloe. Um, I have something to show you. Meet me in front of campus. Oh, okay, so she's just restless and wants me to hurry up because she's needy and she has abandonment issues. Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? This is so obvious. I made this statement in the first episode. This guy is the problem. Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. Like he's, he, it's, it's kind of the same thing with, um, uh, what was his name? David? I think, I'm sorry, I forgot the name, uh, Chloe's stepfather. It's kind of the same thing. Both of them are like people that are clearly really suspicious, but they're probably both good guys 
and it's going to reveal that as the time goes on, that they're really just trying to help or something like that. Nothing but tools. Nothing here. Yeah, I remember in the second episode, I asked uh, the janitor what the hell was going on, and he got really defensive, and uh, it's kind of creepy. I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves. So, who does? Uh. Nothing here. That's something that might come into play later. Keep an ear out for if uh, Rachel Amber used to wear silk scarves. That might be important. Oh, no, don't rewind. God damn it. Is there a way that I can... No, 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 no! God damn it! Ah. Alright, sorry about that. I had to <laughs> go back over everything I'm, I uh, rewinded. Um, I want to go ahead and say right now, if this is one of the first videos you're watching of mine, I do go at a pretty slow pace. So if that's not your thing, probably want to go ahead and just click off now, because that's just how I work. The Tabanka does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. Maybe Samuel should fix that lamp. Maybe Samuel's the one that broke it. For reasons. Oh, the most magical insects. Burn bright. Rachel owes me money, pay up, bitch. Okay. What the fuck are you doing? Principal Wells. Oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he sees me. Oh, he's drunk as fuck. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I, I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump today. I just needed some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof, then seeing her come down with you. You saved her ass. <sighs> Maybe saved Blackwell. Now don't get cocky. Go on back inside. You earned good dreams. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Oh, maybe rewind to where he's his back is facing the, uh... Nope. Motherfucker. Alright. Maybe I can get out while he's not paying attention. Yeah, there we go. Max the ninja strikes again. All right, now what? Can we sit down? Whoa, Jesus Christ! Get it scared it? me. Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. Then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing. And your badass power is going to save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? No biggie. 
Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Uh... Shit, Rachel? I don't know. We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody. Even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Kicking it in Los Angeles? That would be the best case scenario. She wouldn't leave without me, okay? And how often do missing girls turn up? We have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted, as you know. It's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! Boom, bitch! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? It's so stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. You can always let me get busted like you did with the weed. Now oh, shut I'm up. serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. I swear, she's like the most petty fucking person on the planet. <laughs> I let you get busted for weed. Maybe you shouldn't have had weed. Maybe that- maybe that's a grand idea. Maybe you shouldn't be doing that. 
Like, I give a shit, but the point is, I, it's not my fault. A long time ago, Nathan got smacked down. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. Okay, I know where I'm supposed to go, I just want to look around. You never know, there might be something. There's always, like, some little minute detail that you could miss. Your party days are over. That's, uh, two days from now, so... Ah, uh, that's probably gonna be the fifth episode, in that case. Oh. Oh. That's right. Alright, well, let's look over all this stuff. An A minus? Alright, alright. So, Dr. Max did help Warren this morning. Hmm. Is it before or after midnight? I think I can check. Uh, no, it doesn't say what time it is. Shit. Ass biology. Ugh, oh, gross. It's really mature. A periodic table. Wish I knew what periodic means. I'm not even gonna. I never said they were great, troll. Nothing else. Alright, let's get out of this room. This is Chase's room, right? Mr. Chase. Jefferson. Jesus, why do I keep on saying Chase? His name is Jefferson. Mr. Jefferson. This is his room. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. Victoria. That is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? These are paintings, right? These aren't like... They're not trying to pass these off as photographs. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer. <laughs> Said Max, the art critic. Uh, okay. I feel Whatever. gross even looking at Nathan's work. But he does have some style. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. Anything else we have in here? I think we're pretty much done with this room. Yeah, it looks like it. Alright, let's get out of here. There might be a couple more classrooms though, I'll, I'll look around. By the way, no copyrighted music so far. We're probably on what, like this? Yeah, there's no other classrooms, but we're probably on like the second video. That's pretty crazy. So glad you still have your locker, Kate. Now, having been said, the music that they have made up to this point is, uh, or they featured in the game up to this point is pretty awesome. The outro song to the last uh, episode was fantastic. Alright, what are you doing? Are you still working on that? Jesus Christ. There's no way David would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She'd shut his ass down fast. Dear Miss Michelle Grant, as head of security at Blackwell Academy, it's my job and duty to make sure all the bases have been covered when it comes to protecting the student body. I know I'm nobody's favorite among the f uh, faculty and students, but I know I'm making sure their safety is my prime directive. Since taking over as head of security, my statistics speak for themselves, as does the 15.4% drop in campus crime. You're getting kind of specific there. I respect your position as a science teacher, but you have unfairly demonized my plans for a surveillance system with a cowardly petition. I hope that you will redact the peti uh, this petition and reconsider the human cost of not retrofitting, retrofitting Blackwall Academy with the latest in safe and private security. Sincerely, David Madsen. I'm kind of regretting signing that thing. In all honesty, because the more I'm thinking about it, like, I don't think he was wanting them put in bathrooms or anything. He was just wanting them put at the school, which... Like, what's the goal here? It's like, oh, well, we want privacy. Why? You're at school. Yes, Max. Just Who gives a fuck? 
Forget about the principal's office. I mean, at my high school, we had, you know, security cameras. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. And it was a pretty higher-end kind of school. It wasn't like a shithole or anything, so it's just... Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. It just seems like kind of a precautionary measure that doesn't really hurt anything to me. Alright, so that's Samuel's. Okay, you can open the door. Like, you don't need me to accompany you. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit. Like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking. Thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Well, la di da. Boring. Crap. Let me take a wild guess and say this one isn't going to have the key either. Nothing here. Yep, shocker. Dead end. Well, oh, Jesus Here Christ. Are keys? None for the principal's office. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank, but I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kinda know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yeah. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. 